The first combatant will be Stephen of Dvoretz, spearman in the company of Sir Radzik Kobilar, who will measure his skills against Pavel, called Roebuck, from the garrison of Sir Sebastian von Berg. Let us wish the combatants luck. Greetings. What business have you? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Hanish's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Of course. Here you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Longsword. I reckon it's what I'm best at. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. Entering the arena now will be Yera of Beneshoff, called Kipper, a mercenary by profession. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratsay Kabla. Welcome, our warriors. All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with longswords. <laughs> Giving up already? second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. The combatants will engage in a duel with warhammers and shields. Proceed to the... 
the next! The first combatant will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratsay Kabla. And his adversary will be Stephen of Dvoretz, spearman in the company of Sir Radzik Kobila. Welcome, our warriors! And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment! We will witness a duel with longswords! <laughs> The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. God! <laughs> Meeting face to face in this round will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratzig Kabla, who will measure his skills against Menhart, master swordsman from far off Frankfurt. Let us wish the combatants luck. The combatants have entered the arena, and the first duel may commence. We will witness a duel with longswords! Oh! <laughs> 
The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Kaka! You have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Ratzik Komila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Did it in the end, Henry. May the Lord watch over you. Hey, lad! Don't you want to... Good fella. That's my boy. Come along, free. How are you? Come for my winnings. All right. Here's your winnings, damn it. There'll be another tourney in a week or so. Are you going to give me a chance to win my Grosham back? We'll see. Goodbye.
I'm glad to see you. See you later. Good. You're here. Come with me. Start the exorcism so we can go and get some sleep. <clears throat> Namta Bara. What's that? Go on. That's what matters. Just keep going. I think that's enough. The ghost must surely be banished by now. Now let's get out of here before something worse appears. Go and see the widow tomorrow to find out if it helps. I'm going home. Thanks for the help.
rombolni, rombolni, lopni, zajhákat baszni és jót piálni, égetni, rombolni, rabolni, lopni. Yeah. Get him! Megtalállak, te kanél. 
Kit nem látok, mert...
Good afternoon. We cast a spell over Lada's grave. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Mary, mother of mercy. And not even that helped. What? Do you mean to tell me it was all for nothing? Only the Lord himself can help me now. I'll need the parish priest. But why didn't you go and see him right at the start? What would he think of me? Herbalists have always handled ghosts. But now what other choice do I have? Go and ask him what I can do. Fine. I'll go and see him. But I swear this is the last thing I'm doing for you. You have my gratitude. Take a few groschen for everything you've done for me so far. Once the ghost is gone, you'll get more. But what am I supposed to do? Go and see the priest. Tell him about the restless spirit that's haunting me. May the Lord watch over you.
I'm honored that you should come to me. Can I sleep here? All right. For how long? How about if I pay you for several nights? All right. Money up front, though. Here you go. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. I'll be with you.
I see you know how to wield a sword, father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. There's a widow being haunted by a ghost. Can anything be done about that? A revenant. Tell me more about it. For the last few nights, her long-dead neighbor has been paying her a visit in her house. She's tried to drive him out, but neither prayer nor spells have any effect. That's why she's turning to you for help, Father. Hmm. In the scripture, it's written that the dead shall rise again only on the day of judgment. I suspect it may be something on the widow's own conscience that's haunting her. Do you know anything more about that? Well, she says it's the ghost of Alois, a farmer whose wife burned him alive in his own cottage. My, my. That would make a soul restless, all right. But I believe there must be something else that's keeping the widow from sleeping. A farmer, a jealous wife. I'd ask the widow if there's not more to it. My God, that never occurred to me. How little you know people. Make the widow tell you everything, you'll see. And to make amends with the deceased as well as the Lord, tell her to erect an atonement cross. A what? You ask as if you've fallen from the stars. An atonement cross. You often see them along roads, reminders of reconciliation and forgiven trespasses. Suggest it to the widow and see how she reacts. Thank you for the advice. It was very helpful. I shall pray for the poor woman, and I'll be grateful in turn for any donation she may decide to make to the church. God be with you. God. I saw the parish priest. And what did he tell you? Will he come and bless my house with holy water? A better question is, what haven't you been telling me? I've already told you everything. I feel you haven't told me everything. Is there something between you and Alois? I... There's no use denying it any longer. I was a widow and his wife, Lada. She wasn't the kind of woman who filled her husband's heart with joy. Alois and I grew close. So, fornication? If that's what you want to call it. From time to time, we took comfort in each other's arms. Lada found out and began to make a fuss. They fought. You know the rest. You bear a lot of the responsibility for Alois and Lada's deaths. Now I understand why he haunts you. <laughs> I know. I've thought the same thing every single day since he died. Alois left two orphans. I assume his children know nothing about it. They're already adults, but you're right. They don't know anything. 
Do you think it would help if I told them everything? That it would bring peace to Alois and he'd stop haunting me? I think you're on the right path now. Make up for old wrongs. Atone for your sins. Erect a memorial cross. You're right. I'll go and tell them the truth, however much they despise me afterwards. I'll do anything to get a good night's sleep again. Here's some money. Go to the quarry and order a cross be made. I'll do that. Thank you a hundred times over. Good luck then. Art. Yeah. Hey, get out of here! It's no yeah. place for the likes of you! I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believed the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. But the bad stone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. You've earned it, lad. I need to erect an atonement cross. How much does one cost? Ten groschen. We already have one such cross ready, so if you pay now, 
We can have it sent wherever you want immediately. There you are. What do you think? Will he come again? I'm sure we've seen the last of him. Oh, I feel so light. I could float away at peace with the world. That's a peace I have yet to find. Mm. As you've seen for yourself, shaking off the past isn't easy. Here's a ring my husband left me. I don't even know where he got it, but it might be worth something. Take it with my gratitude. Your dad was able to help. Thank you. And God be with you. And with you. I hope you'll finally have peaceful dreams. God be with you. The Lord watch over. There's the good doggy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. And what is it you'd like? I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Goodbye. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh.
Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujet women to witchery. A little bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. And what's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth, or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege, and it's unsafe. All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, Find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman in the woods. Take care. Yeah! Good afternoon. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. Very well. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a week. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. 
but it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their Sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised, I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the Reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Take care. I've heard something about a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours, anyway? The priest is worried. The priest? <laughs> it's nice to find out what telltales you have for neighbours. But believe me, it's none of your business. Or the priest's. I don't quite know what's going on, but I'll find out by hook or by crook. So start talking. Only the herbal ointment? Some chanting, and three women at night in the woods. No harm done to anyone. Maybe some help to some. So why don't you stop interfering?
I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? The priest is concerned. The priest can go to hell. All he cares about is filling his belly. And then that bastard talks down to us from the pulpit about temperance and humility. It's because of his sort, the lords and the humans here that killed my husband and children. Where was the priest then, eh? I don't quite know what's going on, but I'll find out one way or another. So I'd suggest you start talking. Look, there's no need to make threats. There's nothing going on. Well, maybe a few spells and such, but nothing that could harm folk. We mean well, I swear. Our souls are our own concern. God has forsaken us, and we have to fend for ourselves. I've heard something about a magical ointment. What? Who told you that? Was someone asking around? Gertrude sent me. And what did she say? Does she want to add something to the ointment? No. She's worried about what you'll do with it. It's quite dangerous stuff. What I've heard already amounts to a burning offence. Wait. Really? If someone buys witching ointment, what am I supposed to think they want it for? Let me take a wild guess. Witchcraft! And witches deserve to burn. We're doing no wrong. We go to the woods alone, at night, and we hurt no one. I won't say any more. You might twist it against us. Yeah!
Back to the mill. Hope. Thank you. 
Drector. Oh, Prince of Exiles, you who the world has treated wrong. I hear someone coming. Who's there? Is it you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Oh, welcome, Prince of Darkness. And make yourself at home. What would you like us to do? We will fulfill your every wish if you fulfill ours. Prince of Darkness, what in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment from the herb woman? We are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the humans. And if you won't rid us of them, then help us get away from here. Give us riches so we can start a new life in the city. I won't be fulfilling any of your wishes. Oh. What must we do to please you, O oh Lord? In return, you'll have to... Have to... Shit. I feel very weird. Oh, that ointment. You smeared the ointment on me. Fear not, my lord. Nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What did you do to me? Quite well after your long journey. Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. When will you take care of the humans? And why don't you have horns and hooves and a goat's tail, like the priest said? How come you're a talking mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. I flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your mate servants now. We'll do anything you wish. I, I got rid of my horns and hooves along the way, and uh, I keep my tail in my breeches. I only get it out for special occasions. <laughs> I hope there'll be one soon enough. Um, actually, I wanted something else. What's that, oh lord? Will you serve me and do all I tell you to? Oh yes, our lord of hellfire. We'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched cumans. Which one will you take first? Me! Take me! No, me! I want you, Mayor. Vera. I knew it! Come on, come closer to me. It was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come of it or not? I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it? Someone coming! Fuck it! Oh dear, 
Did that hurt? What happened here? Shit! Oh my god. These are no demons, just flesh and blood woodcutters. I'll never be able to explain this to anyone. That fucking ornament. Damn that old hag. Now what? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. What? I found out more about the Ujit's witchcraft. Pray, do tell. The women have got hold of some magic lotion from the herb woman, and they're using it to summon the devil. For the love of heaven. I followed them to where they held their Sabbath. They summoned the devil, danced around a fire, Oh my god, what else? The women were completely out of their minds from that ointment. Then some woodcutters stormed in. They wanted to put a stop to the witch's sabbath. Good god. And what happened? I had to kill the woodcutters to save those women from them. For Christ's sake! How could you? Such needless slaughter! Those men meant well! Was there no other way to stop the bloodshed? The woodcutters were beside themselves with rage, baying for the women's blood. There was no reasoning with them. There must have been another way. I did everything I could. The good Lord observes your deeds. Pray for the souls of those unfortunate Christians. Pray, because you have blood on your hands. At least you see where dancing with the devil can take you. Pray for their loved ones and for your soul and mine, because we share the blame. And now please, go. Leave me alone to pray. Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Good job, Henry. See you later.
God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair is becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosh, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. God be with you. God be with you. Have you seen a worn out old whore who usually stands outside here? She disappeared yesterday and hasn't been back since. I heard her former husband was found dead at home with his horse chopped off and his wife strangled and her eyes scratched out and the house ransacked and robbed. Oh, fuck. They say it looks like a butcher's yard there. No one can say for sure if the old bitch had anything to do with it. I'll wager the shirt on my back. You won't be seeing her around here again. I got fucking everything. Wonderful. Come with me. Got be with you. What's taking them so long? I really don't know. Ready? 
Now put it on. Hmm. Well, that could be an improvement. That's good. That's really fucking good. You don't think it's too much? It's perfect. If I met you at night, I'd shit myself. That's exactly what cumans look like. Says the man who's never seen one. Well, I mean, that's exactly what people think cumans look like. Yep, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> We're only just getting started. Yeah. God bless. What can I help you with? I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? I'd like to make... Uh-huh. I'd like, um, a private bath for two. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Yeah.
bridge. That'll make it easier to cross the earthworks. There's open, a moat. It would take a while to get across, and there's nowhere to shelter from arrows. Hey, te vár csak egy kicsit. Mit akarsz, hogy ennyit bámész kocsi? Hudzsoznom kell. Így csinálhatod, ahol akarod. Úgy is térdig járunk itt a szarban. Stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. We could get all the way to the camp unobserved this way. Our attack would catch them by surprise, but then we'd run straight into the middle of the humans. See a long way. Do you have anything to say? I didn't do nothing wrong. Let me go. I'm not going to get it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I heard you had some trouble with our human brothers. He provoked a horse to make a symbolic evil lesson of Kate Amber. He started fight. His friend killed two men. It's a stinking dog, sir. Don't listen to what they're saying. For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp, and we treat guests as our own. Me, it's when they get quite young. As if this time they care who's buying our clothes. Igen, ennek itt kell lennie. How do you want to punish him? Milyen büntetést tartod ezt számon? Engedd szabadon. A többiek emlékezni fognak rá. Let him go. Others to remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do. And you call yourself a leader. <coughs> No more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp, one army. So fucking remember that. You got that. What a stinking shithole. I wouldn't want to live here. Vár csak egy kicsit. Mit akarsz, hogy ennyit vámész kocsit? Figyelj, nem nagy ügy. Ne szívd merre. Yeah, I'm gonna get soaked. What else is there to do here? Well, I never fucking tense fucking 
camp. But enough of this shit. Put some more wood on the fire. Well, it's getting cold. Of stuff. None of Farm it. Too pleasant. You put some wood it's on the fire. I did it last bastard. time, and she I did the cooking it. yesterday. And I'll talk about and it. I'm on the night Never watch tonight. Way. Listen, fucking hell. Want something done? What the you fuck are you yourself? looking at, human scum? Try shooting these now. shooting these now.
Are you blind for Christ's sake? There's people walking here. God bless. What can I help you with? Is there somewhere I could sleep here? All right. For how long? How about if I pay you for several months? Sure, but Groshen first. These are harsh times. Hmm. That's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? What do you say to this? It'll take more than that to persuade me. You've got it all to yourself. No one will disturb you. Good luck, Ben.
Good health to you, sir. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. See you later. Onions that'll even make your man cry like a little lamb. Come and buy some. God bless you. What troubles you? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements. And that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's a lot of them. I couldn't even count them all. Christ. We'll have to gather armed forces from the whole region to defeat them. Even if it means leaving towns and villages unprotected. Every able-bodied man will have to come with us. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armour. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. 
Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Tarnberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell Sir Robard to bring all his men, leaving only a minimum guard at the castle. And to send a message to Sir Hanush to send his men too. I'll leave our camp almost empty as well. We'll need every man we can muster. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. My hub. Yeah! Greetings. What business have you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzik wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? We can't leave Talmberg unguarded. We've no choice, sir. The bandits have an awful lot of men. Sir Radzig is leaving his camp almost empty as well. He even said you should send word to Sahanish to send his men too. We need every man we can muster. All right then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you leave my men there right now? Yes, sir. 
May God be with you in battle. Take care, Lord. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robot. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did. But I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out. But I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described, now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp, so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way, then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers... It's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march.
Remember me? I remember you, though. Well, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You on it? Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last... I'd say you made a big mistake on you. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. Enough. 
I'd say you're um, flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? We'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, you live to fight another day, eh? <laughs> That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratty, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. you pay for this it's time for the next part of our plan give the word yes sir 